All right, today we're going to go over the, uh, the Asus CNC control for the FAMAR full roll. This is the new uh, digital touch screen display. And I just want to go over some of the, um, the screenshots with you, kind of go through some of the programming. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we're in the manual, the manual, and as you go across the, the screen here in the toolbar, you'll see that it changes. This is the settings, this is the manual, this is the 3D auto learning, this is your automatic, this is your lift of programs, this is to get into the parameters, uh, which you do have a password, but before anyone accesses the parameters, please call Corel so that we, uh, so that no changes are made inside the parameters that can uh, change any of the settings, if you will. Uh, the C-Sphere Correction Database, you do have the ability with a USB to store and save programs with the USB. Okay, the in directional arrow here, left and right, this just allows you to navigate through the different steps of the program, and we'll go through that a little bit later today. The uh, button here with the right arrow in the triangle, and the square actually, is to save the program or save the steps or save a change made inside the program. And this button, this button here with the three lines slanted, that's to delete a program or to delete a step. Okay. So let's just go through the manual screen here. You have a legend down here on the bottom left hand side. Uh, bottom left, the left lateral roll is your X, your top roll is your Z, your right lateral roll is your Y, and your P is your pinch roll. Okay. So on the control stand here, you can see as we move, you have a position. Position numbers move as well. Now, these numbers don't necessarily direct or, or reference a particular radius. It's strictly a position. One good way to start beginning is to, in manual mode, is to always use a radius template find the position of the position of the rolls to give you that radius template and what you can do is compare that with the position that the CNC automatically calculates that radius to be and that way you can always use a checks and balances uh, through that. You can see as well you've got your left and your right rotation and you've got your drop in for your yoke. One thing to do before when you turn the machine on every morning, <clears throat> you go into general sizing. You want to bring all of your rolls down to the be beginning here, your starting position. You go into general sizing. You can see the green button lights up. You hit your start. And what that does is just tells the software that this is the base position. This is the the zero position, if you will, uh, and that's good. And that way, you've always know where your your numbers are. Okay, so we're out of that in manual. Uh, let's go. Basically, uh, let's go through a uh, the steps of a program. Want to go through your settings down here on the uh, bottom left? You'll see where it says create new program. And with the CNC, you get uh, these six shapes here. You've got an oval, you've got your polycentric shape, you've got your cylinder, your rectangle, your oval for parallel sides, and an open shape as well. So if I wanted to create one for a cylinder, the general data is the way that the CNC uh, works is it literally just asks you what your thickness is. Let's use and you can do this in a uh, you can do this in millimeters or you can do this in inches. Right now we have it set for millimeters. So let's do 4.5 with the width. Uh, let's just say it's 50 millimeters wide. The material list here: Acacio is carbon. Enox number is three. That's stainless, and you have aluminum. We're going to pick carbon. Keep the K factor at one. Uh, depending on what which side of the machine that you would like to bring the material in. Right now, if we're standing at the yoke end of the machine, looking at the the X roll, which is your left lateral roll, 
we're going to be moving from the left side. If you would like to come in from the right side, your right steps enable, you would just hit one. Zero, you come in from the left, right, one, comes in from the right. The percentage of crimping, how much force that you're going to bring up in terms of the pinch pressure, it automatically defaults to 100. We're going to use it at 80. Cyclic type, if you want to confirm this, it calculates the information that you're going to have here. So we're going to put in, uh, let's see, yes, yes. Let's do go in here and hit, let me go back, because we'll name this program later once we save it. What is the radius going to be? Uh, let's say right now the radius, let's just make this a 50 millimeter radius. The length, that auto, it automatically calculates the length of the part in terms of millimeters for you. And then once you have that information in here, it's going to hit, hit this button, calculate. Okay. So what we have, once we calculate the information, once we hit the calculate button, all the information that we just put in under the material, um, material program, we, it automatically defaults us to 3D learning. 3D learning is where you can go in and you can see the steps that the machine, based on the information you put in the material profile, the CNC calcul automatically calculates the steps of the program itself. So you can use your directional arrows to scroll through. As you can see, we have 13 steps in that program. And basically what that, and I'll show you a little bit later, but what that entails all the way back to the zero is beginning at one once you hit the start button on the cycle it's going to bring the, it's going to drop the pinch roll down just a little bit it's going to bring the opposite lateral roll up so you can square it and then it stops and you can see that here it's going to wait for you to insert the material once you insert the material you hit the start button again and it goes through the steps so those steps are automatically programmed uh, just by adding and calculating the information in the material setup. You can scroll up, scroll down, and go to page up, and you can see as you scroll through, the steps of the process are also automatically defined. So in number two, you roll and press, roll your lateral alignment, step three, rotation for the plate alignment, crimping roll up, the fifth step, it's going to reverse the rotation of the pinch roll and the top roll. What it's going to do is it's going to move that plate all the way back to roughly 1.3, 1.4 material thickness, roughly all the way to the end of the, of the sheet. Now, a four roll is not going to eliminate completely all of the unbent flat. It has to have some material to pinch, uh, but a four roll has a unique way of reducing as much bent, unbent flat as possible. The six roll is going to bring the, uh, the end feed roll up for your pre-bending. Seventh roll, the seventh position, uh, is going to rotate the material through. Eight position is going to bring the entrance feed or the, the, the end feed roller down. Ninth step is going to bring the opposite roll up. Step 10 is going to, is for rotation, it's going to rotate the number or the, the total length of the rotation for the radius. Step 11, it's going to bring the pressing roller up. Step 12, it's going to reverse that. And again, step 11 to step 12, it's going to bring this roll up just a little bit more to calibrate the cylinder. Okay, so it reverses the rotation, and you'll see that in the, in the video. Step number thir 13, it's going to lower that roll. Step 12 is vacant. We left that vacant. That's the end of the thing. Okay, so again, you can always page down and see where you're at. Another thing is, anywhere that you are in here, it could be any step. If you stop, if you stop or hit the, the, um, the red zero here. If you hit the red in the middle of a cycle, you can, can always continue by hitting the green button and it will pick up with whatever step that you're in. 
So if you want to rerun, if you stop in the middle and you have to make adjustments or what have you, if you want to restart, you always want to go back to the beginning or step number one and then re-hit and then hit the green button again. Also 3D learning, again, it's more of what they call a playback. Um, if you have a brand new, if you have a blank program here, you put in the, the material thickness, the width, the crimping factor. Um, what it also does in 3D learning is it gives you the ability to learn whatever step that you guys, whatever position that you have. If you're bringing the X, the, the X roll up, you're bringing the Y roll up, the pinch roll up. If you want to do it in terms of the Z, in terms of the rotation itself, you can do that by hitting L1, Y1, learn P1, and that's what you call basically playback or 3D learning, auto learning. So it's going to memorize whatever steps or whatever positions or however ro many rotations that you have and that's all done through 3D learning. Okay, so once we have our, posi once we have our program, okay, I'm going to move over to the automatic button here. I'm going to page up and then I'm going to turn the hydraulics on and then once we have that ready go back and bring everything down. Make sure everything's down. Pinch rolls down, ladder rolls down, zero. And then what I'm gonna do is just cycle this part, this program here. First step is to bring the opposite ladder roll up to square, and then it stops. You insert your plate. Once you've inserted your plate, you square it up against the lateral back the lateral roll on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and push the button just to begin the uh, remaining steps of the program. and then you remove the part from the machine. From here, if you'd like to go right back into the, put another piece in, you hit the green button, brings the opposite lateral roll up to square, you put your sheet in, and then you hit your green button. So again, anywhere in the program, if you'd like to, let's just go ahead and start this and I'll show you as you will on page down. As it's going through the steps, it moves from one to the other. I can stop that. You can see the light goes off, so that means that the automatic, automated cycle has stopped. And then we can continue. Let's say, for example, I want to go back and check the radius in step number five, or the pre-bending portion of that. I go back in. and it picks right back up where it is in the program. So there's two ways to look at it. One with, with graphically illustrated steps of the program or you can page down and see the actual positions. You've got your x-axis, your y-axis, your pinch, your x, your z for rotation, and the percentage of speed. And that's the end of the program. Okay, so we've gone through all the steps, roughly in your settings, the manual, semi-automatic, 3D auto learning, automatic learning, your list of programs, the USB, directional, how to save a step, how to delete a step or a program, and how to create a program. We appreciate your interest in Corel Corporation. Thank you very much for viewing this video.